Okay, let's talk about semrush.com. This is a keyword research tool. There is a free version and a paid version. Of course, you get more options with the paid version, but the free version will give us at least some information uh, that we can use for our website and to hopefully get some keywords. So what you need to do is type in at least one keyword or keyword phrase into the search box and then click search. So I am going to do, hmm, what should I do? I'm going to do, uh, let's do uh, uh, automatic transmissions. Okay, automatic transmission. Maybe I'm a seller of car parts. Okay, so here we go. Now when we have automatic transitions, we search and it's going to bring us up um, a lot of results in a dashboard. And so we have on the left hand side, we have overview, organic research, advertising research, display advertising, backlinks, and keyword research. Keyword research is already set up as the default, so you don't really need to be too concerned about these. Feel free to poke through these if you want later, but we are going to only for research, going to be focusing on the keyword research area, and it already is selected. So what do we have in the middle? Well, first off, of course, they want you to upgrade, so they're letting you know what you get when you have the pro, which is nice, but on the free, we can take a look. Here's a live update that shows us the keyword that we're looking or that we typed in the cost per click the um, competitive density using the given term for their ad uh, one means the highest so the closer to one it's a it's higher to uh, being very competitive the volume of search results the average number of search queries for the given keyword in the last 12 months so this is 12 months of searching and the number of results, the number of URLs displayed in the organic search results for this keyword. So there's 58 different URLs, or maybe some are the same. There's 58 million URLs, 8,000 searches. And then we have cost per click distribution. I am not going to pay attention to that. They're just showing you different countries. And then they're going to show trending, how trending the, this keyword has been over the last couple of months. Um, and it's pretty popular. Scrolling down, we, we can take a look at the phrase match re report and the key uh, related keywords report. Phrase match report will show us um, different uh, iterations of automatic transmission of the words. So maybe automatic transmission fluid, motorcycle, parts. See, now what they're getting is more nicheified, but these are good things to be aware of and good things that you might possibly want to write down or put somewhere on your keyword list. You can also pay attention to the the, the volume and the cost per click because cost per click even if you're not buying ads pay attention to what an ad would cost per click because the more higher the CPC the more popular this keyword phrase is look at this one semi-automatic transmission nine dollars so not that many people are searching it but somebody thinks it's valuable because they're paying that much for an ad anyway if you want to get the full report you can click full report and you will get some more keyword phrase matches then on the right hand side you're going to see some related keywords and this is really where you can get many ideas um, other ideas for your keywords so we have transmission prepare with a lot of searches automatic with a lot of searches manual with a lot of searches and so on and so forth and then you can also click full report and get more information now of course when you click full report let me show you what happens it takes you to another page gives you the full report gives you a little bit more trending, it gives you a little bit more um, results, but after that, it asks you to upgrade. Now, farther down, we have some search engine keywords here, and this is showing you like the websites that have this phrase. So it shows you the top 20 domains and the exact URL that it is on. And then if you're interested in ads, you can see who has the top ads that have this keyword. And that is it. So that is a quick run through of how you can use SEMrush for keyword research.